remember, don't watch this alone. So here it is guys, thank you so much for coming to my moment right now and you're probably wondering what I'm doing and uh, where am I and all that. I don't need to tell you where I am right at the moment. Make another uh, style of my vlog. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because it's very simple. Um, I, I have, in my vlog, I have a haunted moment where I really go to places and see the area and I tell you the history dan tempatnya dan segala macam. Ada cerita-cerita horornya dan lain sebagainya. It's called one of those, my moment yang namanya haunted moment. This type of vlog all the time. Make this moment. Uh, another part of my moment where you, where you get to hear all these other things that I the past videos that I made now I'm I, I before I start this moment I'm just gonna let you know there's questions and answer if you have question and answers and if you need to tell me anything do let me know in the comment below of this video and then I'll make another video of this but this video it's called cerita malam tapi yang gue mau cerita adalah um, cerita-cerita serem yang udah pernah, pernah gue denger dan pernah gue ngalamin and I think more likely is the cerita serem yang gue pernah ngalamin itu aja sih and, and the places that I've been to so uh, I haven't done any other haunted moments so there's three things three types of moments vlogs in my channel in my YouTube channel now if you haven't subscribed go subscribe to my YouTube channel namanya Ariki Suroso if you're really watching this right now it's either you have subscribed or if you're new watching to this channel right now kalau lo baru please do click that subscribe button before I start there's some things that I went through in my vlog throughout my my haunted vlogs go pernah ke actually I've been to so many places number one I've been to Fort Rotterdam Number two, I've Rumah Hantu Darmo. Number three, I've been to uh, Lawang Sewu. And number four, I've been to this place uh, in Bali, but I'm not gonna tell you which place I went to, but it's quite scary. And number five, I've been to yang namanya Jembatan Tan Seiladi. I've been to that. And also, uh, I've been to yang namanya Kampung Vietnam yang di Batam juga. I've been to so many places along the way. But the first step is this. you. There is this someone that actually notices my vlog yang one of the haunted moments and actually is one of the haunted moment yang ada di yang pertama adalah yang ada di Rumah Hantu Darmo. If you take take a look at my moment in part 2 Rumah Hantu Darmo yang ada di Surabaya that I've been to. And let me tell you the the story. Now, the moment where I kind of vlog into that uh, door, that door that I vlog and you can hear a girl's voice in part 2 Rumah Hantu Darmo. And actually someone, to, uh, com not commented, but someone actually WhatsApp me and um, messages me and told me, hey, you know, you missed out on something. I mean, you went through all things and you told us there's a voice and everything else, but other people saw things inside that vlog that I didn't even know. But the first stop is that I want to show you. In that vlog, in that last moment of that vlog, there was a small... Uh, the, in that door where I vlog, there was a there was a light, like like when the moment where I came forward to that door, it was a ada ada lampu di situ lampu yang I'm not sure what it is. What, I, I didn't even realize it until I replay it back again. So at this moment, you can actually really see there's a light there, a lampu di situ di depan uh, pintunya. I don't know what it is. It looks like an eye. Some people tell me it's an animal, but I don't see it's an animal like that. Kelihatannya kayak mata orang, and kelihatannya kayak um, those kind of thing lah. And I, I'm, it's quite scary actually to really think about it and I didn't really notice uh, things like that but so that's the first one I'm gonna tell you about my vlog and people have been noticing a lot of things in my vlog but I won't include all that but I'm just gonna include the Rumah Hantu Darmo yang part 2 di dalam vlognya ini yang namanya Cerita Malam now here it is my Cerita Malam for today um, actually happened quite a long time ago and uh, I was I was invited to go to Surabaya and they asked me to stay in a hotel. I won't tell you what the hotel is, but it's one of those hotels. But the reason I stayed in a hotel is because I was uh, recommended to stay in a hotel. And when I was recommended to stay in a hotel, the hotel was not old, but it's a new hotel, room, uh, hotel yang baru. Tapi at the same time, uh, hotelnya ini... Actually, I, I, I'm at a place where uh, whenever I tell this story, I'm quite... Scared. I flew to Surabaya for a program, and I needed to, and I needed to train. So, but they didn't give me a normal hotel where. Not, I mean, the normal, the hotel is normal, but they didn't give me the normal hotel that I stayed in, that I normally stay in. Now, um, they gave me a new hotel. They say it's brand new, so I should test it out since uh, we got a voucher and it's very cheap and everything else. So I stayed in that hotel. So that night, 
when I stayed in that hotel, I bathed first and I wanted to get some dinner. So around that corner of the hotel, uh, very close by, there was this abang-abang yang uh, jual yang namanya nasi goreng. So I went there and I wanted to eat nasi goreng really, really bad. So I ordered one nasi goreng, I waited there for 15 minutes and this abang says, okay, let's go. And the abang says like this, uh, where are you staying? And I said, oh, I'm staying in that hotel. And, and Abang says, oh, it's actually a new hotel. Abang nasi gorengnya bilang, it's a new hotel. So I said, yeah, it's a new hotel. I can see it's very, very new. Uh, hotel yang baru gitu lah. Tapi at the same time, Abangnya tuh ngeliat gue kayak, are you sure you're staying in that hotel and you really want to stay in that hotel? So I said to myself, Bang, emang kenapa? Muka Abangnya tuh kayak, uh, okay, good luck. But, but anyway, so gue beli, gue bayar nasi gorengnya harganya 7 ribu, gue balik. And on the way to that hotel, uh, I was thinking, the Abangnya kenapa? mikirin kayak gitu and pas gua wait there but yeah I, I'm gonna call uh, a friend of mine because I'm very scared I want to ask a friend to come here and sit down with me, but I'm quite scared. Why? Because um, I'm in a place where I can't tell you where I am, but this place uh, really gives me the creeps. And uh, serem banget sih. And pas gue lagi cerita-cerita gini, banyak uh, suara-suara di dekat sini yang agak. Uh, anyway, I'll just continue. Nah gitu, gue gak bakalan kasih tau lo sama lo hotelnya apa waktu di Surabaya. Tapi gue dit ditaruh di tempat yang hotel yang baru, lah, lumayan cukup baru. Dan hotelnya itu di daerah deket Spasio, agak kesana dikit lah. Gue gak kasih tau hotelnya. But anyway, gue balik bawa nasi goreng nih. Pas gue udah balik bawa nasi goreng nih, udah nyampe di hotel. Gue makan dong nasi gorengnya. And pas gue makan nasi gorengnya, udah nih, udah selesai. So I sat down there and I watch TV. Gue nonton TV dong di hotelnya ini. Pas gue nonton TV gimana? Gue ketiduran. Nah, gue ketiduran. Of course TV-nya masih nyala. At the same time, pas TV-nya masih nyala nih, gue ketiduran. Gue bangun, I think it was jam 1.30 malam. Pas gue bangun 1.30 malam, gue ngeliat TV-nya gue masih nyala. Dan kalau orang bangun kan, lo tau sendiri lah, yuk. Kayak bangun tuh agak blurry, terus agak samar-samar gitu kan. Jadi remote-nya agak jauh dari gue, which is kayaknya pas gue lagi pegang, gue tidur, remote-nya gue agak kejauhan, jadi agak sebelahnya gue agak jauh. So here's what happened. Jadi gue ngeliat remote-nya, I saw the remote there right next to me actually, but it's not in my reach, so jadi gue harus agak sedikit bangun untuk ngambil remote-nya. Nah, tadinya gue mau ngambil remote-nya, pas diantara gue ngambil remote-nya, ternyata TV gue, itu volume-nya tuh, vo volume TV-nya gue itu turun sendiri. So the volume of my TV went down, decreased by itself. Like without me, touching the remote so I looked at the TV then I said oh oh man what the heck and uh, like deeply inside that I like in my mind I wasn't thinking toward that way because normally when I'm alone I'm not scared no one's touching the remote but my TV volume is decreasing by itself so I just because I wanted to decrease the volume jadi gue mau turunin volumenya akhirnya ke, ke, ke turun sendiri dan gue gak ngerti siapa yang nurunin akhirnya gue pikir udahlah karena udah turun gue mau tidur lagi kan pas gue mau tidur lagi sebelum mata gue merem and exactly itu waktu itu jam 1.45 udah hampir jam 2 volumenya naik lagi buat kali ini volumenya naik lagi 5 tik ke, jadi dipencet 5 kali volumenya naik it went up again so I got so scared man so I thought what the heck and I realized I turned off I, so I straight away took the remote in my hand so I turned it off and I turned on, turn on the TV, then I thought, oh man, I gotta go to sleep because I can't be in this position right now at two o'clock at night in the morning and I'm seeing my TV decrease and increase by volume. I can't be there doing it. So I said to myself, I turn it off. So I put my remote on the side, go tidur. I read, guess what? Go secara tidak langsung, gue ngeliat TV-nya itu nyala lagi. Padahal remote-nya is right next to me. Now I'm telling you this no joke, and I like I got so scared. Pas TV-nya nyala sendiri, at the same time no joke di WC-nya gue. Jadi my room I can see but the bathroom gue bisa ngeliat WC-nya gue di sebelah kiri. Pas gue ngeliat sebelah kiri nih WC-nya gue itu kerannya dia langsung ngucur sendiri. Nah gue nggak ngeliat kerannya itu kebuka atau apa atau memang hotelnya baru kerannya belum fix atau apa gue nggak ngerti. Tapi kerannya itu ngucur sendiri. Uh, I didn't know what else to do. Bible, I took it. I put it right next to my pillow, and then uh, I said 
Nah, she like said it out loud. I said, gue bilang dengan kenceng, gue bilang kalau misalnya mau ganggu, please jangan ganggu. Saya di sini nggak untuk ganggu. Nah, yang ada di sini, saya di sini hanya untuk menginap satu malam. Dan habis itu saya akan balik, balik lagi ke Jakarta. So let me be. Then I woke up exactly uh, at three o'clock. I, I was waking up exactly at three o'clock. When I woke up at three o'clock, it is my last story to you before I finish. The bathroom door was closed. It was open before because I can see the tap running. It was open before the bathroom door was closed and the TV was on. It never closed the bathroom door. And that was my itu pengalaman gue yang gue nggak akan lupain selamanya. I think it was my one of my moment yang ada di Surabaya. It was very very scary. Normally, gue salah satunya yang selalu digodain dan didatangin. Karena I don't I have no idea why. Maybe gue ke tempat yang haunted haunted kayak gitu. Tapi uh, I I choose not to believe that way. And um, I'm one of the person who you know at night and it always happens around 1 to 3 o'clock and you know you know what people say right kalau kejadian yang jam 3 itu the trinity of things that's happen jadi makanya di, if you go to youtube banyak orang bilang jam 3 hide and seek jam 3 uh, main ini jam 3 play, playing this uh, those kind of things lah. it always happens with jam 3 and thank you so much i really do appreciate it click the like and comment and remember to share this yang namanya my first cerita malam in that thank you so much appreciate it please remember to subscribe in that everybody thank you so much keep it real keep it clean and vlog positive